Hi guys and welcome back to the FIFA 21 Ultimate Team Road to Glory and as you can see on your screen here the goat is gone 1 million and 5 thousand coins well yeah 1 million and 5 thousand coins for the man he's left the club thank you for your service you absolute goat but we have to recoup the coins before the guy literally just crashes to like free k um, so, in this episode, obviously now Neymar's gone, we're going to do some SPCs and then blah blah blah. We only lost 50k on Neymar, which isn't terrible, like it could have been a lot worse. I'm happy we sold him when we did. He's also, like he's already he's already dropped like 20k, 25k since I've sold him, which is good news. So from this pack, we're going to get basically just nothing, honestly. It's a non-rare. I mean, it's a non-board, sorry. Uh, we do get Tillemans, which not the worst board in the world, but... Obviously, yeah, it's only a free player pack, you know, just get out of my face. Anyway, we'll then do an 82 plus pick because why not? Tucking away a few uh, UCLs and also a Corona, uh, I've said it, whoops. Uh, we're chucking him in because uh, we've we've already got him duplicate Country tradable or something, I don't know. Um, so anyway, we'll do this pack now and it's going to be... Fernandinho, it's not terrible, is it? I'm such a shame Zakaria is not a road to the final anymore. Um, well, obviously, he's got his card, but he's not in packs. Uh, and then we do the 25 wins, which is, of course, another mega pack. And then we get the 25k pack or whatever for completing it, which is great. So we'll open them um, right now, basically. So, mega pack, mega, mega pack. Is it going to be any good? Let's find out. It's going to open eventually. When it wants to take the mic. Here we go. It's a walkout, boys. Get in. It's a normal walkout. It's going to be Uruguayan striker, which is, of course, going to be Luis Suarez. Not terrible, is it? It's not not, not the end of the world. I'll take it. Obviously, it's a duplicate and tradable, which is now going to lead us to do something else because we're going to discard him, but then quick start recovering. You know, smart players. Um... Yeah, that will basically just to do an SBC. Um, as you can see, duplicate untradeable, which is quite annoying. If it gives me, like, I don't know, anyone else, another 87 that's terrible, I don't really care. Just not duplicate, man. I don't want duplicate untradables. Um, so, we're going to back out, and this is what we're going to do. As you can see, he's in the squad, his little uh, Luis Suarez. Big rating players. My Kufal that I also quick sell recovered from the companion app. And that is going to enable us to complete Roman Alessandrini. Decent, I think. He looks very, very good. Obviously, he's quite off league, but we've got a lot of French players in the squad and in the club. You know, the likes of Mukiele, Dembele, Martial, um, Sissoko still in his club, in his team. Uh, and yeah, it looks a pretty good card. Like He's always quite OP in here, uh, Alessandrini, when he gets a special card. So I'm very happy with that. And as you can see, there's Kufal and uh, obviously the Luis Suarez that we can now put back in the club. Um, so that's also good as well. And then we obviously claim the Black Friday, finished it. We've got the 25k pack, whoever it is, the premium gold players pack. All players, which is brilliant. That's just what you want to see. Uh, and it's just more players to put in the club for future SBCs. So this includes obviously 12 gold players and three rares. So can I get a decent rare player? Nice little walkout again. Nice, nah, not um not a walkout and it's not a board. So that is unfortunate, but we can't really expect I'll just pass Suarez. This one's a Chichiri Donandes who used to play for Manchester United. He's not like good anymore, but anyway, yeah and then Ollie Watkins and Ansu Fatty like it's not great is it? So then we're gonna do a few player picks or are we? Or are we just going to do one? Don't know, but we do one here using silvers and golds. This is before like the 81s, 27s and stuff like that came out. So we'll just do a few of these, um, maybe in future episodes. But we'll just do one here and it's going to be terrible. Parolo. I mean, it's good for the... What's it called? What do you call him? What's he called? What's he called? What's he called? What is he called? Don't fail that's it, there you go. Took me about four years, I've got a slow brain. Uh, but we are going to do another one here, and then we'll do some in future episodes. Uh, so this is the last one for this episode, it's going to be Castiles. It's an 83 rated, it's not the worst in the world, but it's not, not great, is it? So that's that. And then we finish off Rodrigo. Decent little Brazilian, obviously we've just got Alessandrini, but 
this guy to be done. If I get like a Mendy or obviously we've got Teles, so I could play him off Kem. Um, I'm not too sure yet. Uh, it looks a decent-ish card. It's not amazing, but you know, I mean, it's a free card at the end of the day. 83 rated, 83 rated. It will get upgraded, but we get some all right packs back. So again, more plays into the club for SBCs. Um, and it's just an alright card. I'll probably put him in SBC down the line, but you know, just for now, he's decent and he's quite lowish rated. So for them, like icon swap objectives and stuff like that, it'll be decent. So there you go. Here is walking out Brazilian right wing. Could have be, could be William, but no, obviously it's Rodrigo. What's he doing here? Oh, watch this. What? What? Watch what he does. He's just. Uh, he's just killed himself. What's What's he doing? Get up, lad. You need to play for my club. You need to die for the badge. Not just die. Anyway, so it looks decent, you know. The agility and stuff like that. It's decent. Obviously, for a winger, you need that. You've got to be agile, especially for the attacking players. That is 100% needed. So here we go. Five packs in the store. Obviously, some are right. Like electrums, small electrums. But then there's like 5k packs. So we're going to open up the first 5k pack. I'm pretty sure it is. Uh, not a walkout. No board. I mean, it's pretty standard, really, isn't it? What is it going to be? It's going to be a Boyata, um, Belgium centre back from the Bundesliga, and that's about it. Just get rid of that. We move on. More packs. We need them, right? Seven and a half k pack now. Yeah, I mean, if Pyface gets Pele, I should get Pele too. Uh, it's not. It's not going to be Pele though, is it? <laughs> I'm not as lucky as him. It's going to be a, again Lazare again. Good for Delafeu, which you know you might see in the upcoming videos and across the bin. So I've got him back, which is great. Good for Bundesliga first on and stuff like that. So I'm happy about that. And then we'll move on to the next pack. Not a walkout. Not a board. I mean, you can tell this theme where we're going here. We're not really getting anything after we've got that Luis Suarez. Um, which is obvious, it's pretty, pretty obvious to me. Um, two more packs to go then. Small Electrum. Anything out of this? It's not a walkout. It's not a board. Again, carrying on that theme. It's not even a rare boy, it's Crushito. Is it? Is it? Yeah, from um, Genoa, is it? I think it is in Italy. And then the Electrum Players Pack is the final one from the uh, objective. It's not a walkout once again, and again, not a board. It's just typical in it it's gonna be Aussie men yeah again first on uh, first on a thingy yeah, and also Delafeu which is fantastic now we move on to do the draft obviously from the Black Friday stuff you get a draft token from winning five games so we might as well just do this now obviously I've finished on my weekend league and stuff so I've got no really to do and we get a decent formation 4-4-2 been playing this a lot in pro clubs and to start off we're getting a Shevchenko not used this card before it's quality I can't lie used it obviously in this draft he's pretty decent then Timo Werner which we all know he's Werner he's just incredible and then we're going to pick up a Leroy Sane. Could have gone for a, a Bamba, but I didn't really fancy it. Obviously, he's just linked to Werner anyway, isn't he? And then we're going to get Allen, so we'll try and get that Prem stuff again. And we get a nice little strong link to Werner in Kovacic, which is decent. Now for the right mid, we're going to pick Bowen, simply because it's Prem links. He's English, and we can just sub him out anyway, which, yeah. Now I'm hoping for an Alfonso Davis. And unfortunately we don't get him, but Brandon Williams is fine, you know, 81 pace, it's not end of the world. If we can get a strong link into him, it's alright. We get a Varane, obviously he's not a strong link, but it's not Varane, oh my days. Van Dijk, sorry, Jesus Christ. And then we get Thiago Silva, or do we? I mean, I, I thought about getting Langley, but we're going to go Thiago Silva, simply because strong links and obviously Prem and stuff like that. And then we'll just pick any right back here, it doesn't really matter, none of them link. Um, and then the goalkeeper, we need a Premier League goalkeeper, we get a David De Gea, fantastic stuff. So we just really need a left back, a right back, and then a, maybe a right mid, but obviously we can sub him on. Um, so just hoping, hoping. Well, I mean, these aren't very good picks, are they? Honestly, we're going to hopefully get some here. There you go, Van Hanel. He's actually sick, Is Van Hanel, honestly. He's incredible. You need to get him. Hopefully strong links to Van Dyke as well, so he gets full chem, and then um, we put Brandon Williams to right back for now, hoping to get a right back. Can we get one? Well, we get a Rafinha from Leeds. 
yep, let's just move on. Um, don't know why I picked him. And then Raheem Sterling or Romani. We're going to pick Mane, obviously. Solid, solid player on this game. Very, very good. And then Florenzi is the next one to come out. I could have picked Hamas Rodriguez, but he's a bit slow in here that on that card. Um, and then a Campos comes out. Not even used this card before. I'm, I'm quite interested to obviously try it. And then we, br we bring a, a, what's it called, a Thiago in, which is more strong links. And now we've got a full Prem team. We just need a right back still, I think. Channel no glue there. Can we get a right back? Open for a walk. Can we get a Rashford? Decent. Still need a right back with one position left. We get one. Hector Bellerin, just about. We'll take it. Brilliant stuff. So that is the squad going into the draft. Obviously, we switch it up a little bit, put Rashford and stuff on the bench and unfortunately we're losing the final I was 3-1 up I got a red card with Matiago Silva and it all just went downhill from there he obviously scored the penalty because I took him out in the box he got a penalty made it 3-2 and then yeah it just didn't go to plan uh, it was a it was probably better than me um, so I was lucky to be 3-1 up but I should be winning from a 3-1 uh, up position you, you know what it is um, and this is pretty much going to run off the end of the episode so we'll open this last pack and then I'll sign it off as always so if you did enjoy give it a like subscribe if you're new to the channel and i'll catch you in the next one tomorrow after this pack is it anything is it echoes uh so we didn't profit from the draft yeah peace see ya